Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and we've got water, water everywhere, and we're gonna fix that today. lost half the water. First off, you saw the water go everywhere out of these buckets when we we're transporting it up here to the ridge. And this is something that happens you know, when you're transporting water in a five gallon bucket in the back of a side-by-side -side UTV, ATV, whatever, you're gonna spill. Well, not if you have these right here. These are uh, screw-on lid adapters for your typical five gallon bucket. I wanna thank Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead for uh, letting me know about these. These are really cool guys. I'll give you the link to these. I got them on Amazon. I'll give you the link and you, you, they're like those um, lids on your dog food containers. You know, you just screw them on, screw them off and uh, they work great. They got a gasket on there. These are going to be awesome. These are the Gamma Seal Lid System. Uh, they transform your 3.5 gallon to 7 gallon buckets into resealable usable containers. All you got to do is snap on the ring, screw the lid on and you've got a sealed container. I bought a three pack of these Gamma Seal lids and all you gotta do again is just snap the top on there, unscrew the lid, boom, you are done. Just filled these up again. Again, uh, they are airtight and pest proof and we didn't spill a drop. So now I got 15 gallons of water and I started with 15 gallons of water and that makes me happy. Let's get these over to the animals and get them all watered. Again, very simple operation. Spin open the lid, and there's our five gallons of water. In addition to the five gallon bucket water lids, we're gonna be changing a few things up here in the Ridge Rabbitry water system. Uh, we've got these 64 ounce Rinnacoop autofill watering systems. We also have some of these Lixit um, uh, stainless steel ball bearing type water systems. Now the Lixit, you know, they have the little ball bearing in the tube and they can get all gummed up and these are hard to clean. You gotta take them off, flip them over, fill them up, put them back in, and very hard to clean inside that bottle. Cleaning inside these 64 ounce, very, very easy. I can fill from the top 
You take this whole lid off, clean the inside of it. And they came with these stainless steel auto fill uh, uh, cups. I really like these. Um, when it's empty, it fills up, goes down and stops. There's a valve inside here. Now, the only issue I had is uh, in the winter time, of course, they can freeze up. I didn't have any crack. And the small rabbits can sit on these, thinking they're like a little perch when they're, when they're the little kits. Um, so that was kind of a, a thing. And also they would push them and turn them sideways. And when they do that, all the water would pour out of the rent coop I didn't want to tighten them too tight because you can crack the plastic. So today we're gonna switch over uh, to these do-it-yourself chicken watering kits. They are little um, uh, nipples that the, um, that the rabbit's tongue will flick sideways and water will come out. Uh, you can use them again for rabbits, chickens, all other you know, small types of uh, uh, livestock. We'll try these today and see how they work. All right, let's open these uh, do-it-yourself chicken watering kits. I've got a five pack here. And uh, very, very simple instructions. Come with a little tool. I'll show you how this works. So you put it like this. And then the, if, when, when the uh, rabbit's tongue flicks that lever, it just uh, allows water to come in and out. Very, very simple. And it's just like the uh, autofill stainless steel cups. You screw, screw it in, and this is the tool you use to screw it in. You stick it on the front here and you turn it. Works very, very easy. It's gonna fit right here. The rabbit's just gonna come in and flick this and the water's gonna come out. I can't put it on the outside because I won't have enough room for that gasket to seal. So I'm gonna take this off come around and then we will install this here on the front so we'll just put start screwing that on and then use our tool it's our tool to get it on there tight so you can see what's going on here and you'll see the gasket start to deform again i want to get it there we go and that should give a nice good seal there we go make sure get it get it straight there we are. And then now the rabbit just flicks that. Let's get it filled up and see how it works. Go ahead and get this filled up. See if it leaks. See how the water works. Okay, not, no leaks. Let's see if the water comes out. Oh, there's the water. Flick, a flick, 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 and the water comes out. Should work great. We'll see if the rabbits like it. Well, that was very simple to install. We got four of them ready. The little ones are already drinking, so let's go take a look. Well, that was do-it-yourself water easy today. We had water, water everywhere, but now it's right where we want it. We've got all of our um, waters set up for our rabbits. We've got our lids on our five gallon buckets. It is a happy spring day here on the Ridge. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life.